Today you will see how I create my first game in Unity from scratch. Let's start! First of all I need the main character, but I'm not too ambitious, so I created this little grey sphere. I made the stick and I colored the sphere and the stick. And that's wonderful! This background sucks, maybe something less intense will work. This is better. So now I must program the rotation of the stick. Ok, it's rotating around its center, but it's not what I want. I want the rotation to be around its edges, so I must also move the center of the object accordingly. Yes, perfect, this is it. I think I can call my main character Sticky, it's a good name. So the next step is change the point of contact of Sticky in order to move like this. Now the point of contact is this and I rotate in this way, then the point of contact becomes this and it rotates in this way and so on, we can turn back and go whatever you want. This is exactly what I want, but uh, I think a good idea is to move also the camera in order to follow the movement of Sticky. I created this terrain that uh, generates itself when you move uh, rightward or uh, leftward in order to don't create an infinite, because it's impossible, that terrain in Unity. So when you move to the right, the left part of the terrain recreates itself to the right, and when you go to the left, it creates in the opposite way. It's time to evolution! I want a game in which you have different ability accordingly to the level that you have. At start you can barely move in this difficult way, but then you can jump, you can fire, and I don't know. This is the sphere that I must collect in order to upgrade myself. And when I connect this sphere with Sticky, they move like a unique object. But the movement is the same as before, so what's new in this new level? When I upgrade this point, I can jump. And it was very difficult to program this part, not for the jump part, because you can create a variable called height that moves like a parabola, but for the land part, because you can land on the same point of contact as before, or you can change it. And when you can change it, it's very difficult to program. Try yourself. Or maybe I am dumb. This is my first game after all. The jump part is very funny because I can do this trick shot. Go, go! Left, right, yes! The next level was... Uh... A triangle. You can move around like before, the jump was higher in order to avoid better the obstacle that I want to implement. Also the movement part was easier. Times for enemy. The first enemy I introduce is a spike, because it's simple to be programmed, but it's deadly. It, it, it was deadly. What, what was happened? Okay, now I solved the problem. And the boom! I also learned a bit about particle effect, so I can create this set of circles that explode all over the place. What can be the next enemy? Oh! Right! I have a crossbow, don't ask. So maybe an arrow can be my next enemy. The arrow activates when I move myself and it works because it killed me. But I can also try to avoid it, sorry. I said that I can also avoid it, okay, perfect. And I can jump this by... I, I'm a complete idiot! Next step. For the level 4, I come up with this idea that it's very funny. If you press W, you start to load energy inside yourself and then BOOM! The projectile goes away until an enemy is hidden. There is still no enemy to be hidden, but it's fine. We can remedy it. My girlfriend told me that maybe I can change the pointer of the triangle in order to understand from which of the sphere you are firing. 
and they think it's a good idea so when you upgrade it to level 4 one of the sphere becomes darker and so it's easy to understand where you are firing before the next part sponsor time this video is sponsored by water Let's take a demonstration to kill Slimey. First of all, you need to upgrade it to level 4, otherwise you can kill it. I say to level 4. You can try to jump, for example, but it follows you, so it's impossible. So you must upgrade it and then fire in the fa- Okay, I'm done. I say firing in the- Face. Okay, a real problem is the fact that it regenerates, so it's very difficult to pass it. But I can try it. Okay, if you jump towards when you're firing, it hasn't the time to regenerate properly, and you can pass. Or maybe it was I thought. Go Since the background was sad, I introduced this sky full of clouds that moves away with different speed and uh, random properties. I also introduce a UI interface uh, where you can see the button that according to the level you can press, so in this case AD for movement, then it becomes a jump, so a space bar for jumping, and uh, to the left uh, you can see also the level, we are now at level 2, and when you touch the upgrade sphere you become level 3 and so on. I also introduce a sound effect in this game, but uh, you will listen to it when uh, I will play it. And for the final modification of the background, I created this uh, rocky and sand image that follow ourselves in our journey. After adding little details, the game is complete. Now I will play the game and you can do the same because you can find a link in the description to download the game and try yourself to beat me. It's very difficult. With A and D I can move right. First the tail that I had is the game, the spears that fall on down and if they hit you, you are dead. Okay, level 2, so now I can jump and there is an arrow to avoid. With this movement you can go and gain some terrain. It's not easy at all. Okay, okay, I jump this part and I'm a fucking idiot. Maybe you can ask why go to the right and not to the left, because the left is way more deadly. Way more deadly. Then there is an arrow, I can jump this, that's okay, I can I can't jump that. I'm stupid! Very, very stupid! When I become angry, I can't uh, talk in English anymore. My, my game is very difficult. I don't have a kill count because otherwise I become Hulk from the Avengers. Oh, no, another arrow, okay, now I can jump here. Maybe I am to go. Very, very difficult, okay. Let's go serious, let's go serious. Okay, arrow, then jump here, okay, jump also that, I become a triangle, then you must do that in order to pass this part, okay. The movement part of the triangle are very, very difficult. There are two spears that comes down only when I move, so I must move, then go here, and level 4, perfect. Fire! I am the king of fire now. Okay, I remember right. No, no, what the fuck? Go, 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 No, 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 it's not good. Not good, not good, go, good. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, my god. I am alive. Okay, okay. Another fire, another fire. No, 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 I, how I can do this part? How I can do this part? 
another fire for okay maybe I can jump here there, there are enemies I, I can feel it I can feel the enemies arrows enemies okay okay I win it I win it in four minutes and five seconds you can do that better I don't believe so as I mentioned before you can find all the links to play this game in the description I hope you like this video next one will be even better see you next time